Hey then, welcome to After Work. My name is Valentine and in this channel we talk about various data science topics that are important when you're starting out your data science career. If such topics interest you, be sure to subscribe to this channel. So today we're going to be talking about common data scientist mistakes um, and these are mistakes that um, emerging data scientists, persons who are learning data science would tend to make while they are working on basically data science projects. Alright, so let's get started on learning about these mistakes. The first mistake is thinking that deep learning will solve the project that you're working on. Um, deep learning has been hyped and it's basically a subfield of machine learning which um, tends um, to solve for um, predictive analysis problems where most of the cases you would um, be required to create models. So deep learning would be suitable for those kinds of problems that require you to create models. And even to, be, uh, to a certain extent, it, deep learning may not necessarily be um, the right approach even when creating models. It usually requires that um, you use um, deep learning as a complex solution um, when all the basic um, approaches of machine learning, of creating models, do not satisfy the end requirement of what you're supposed to have. So if, if you're required maybe to create a model that, um, um, that is explainable um, to basically any sort of um, stakeholder, then deep learning may not necessarily be, and it ought to you ought to use better um, approaches. But nonetheless, still on this topic of deep learning, there are many kinds of projects that you might undertake as a data scientist, and they might involve working on descriptive analysis reports, might involve working on basically articles, which of course are part of what is called data journalism. It might involve you basically having a report that gives some um, recommendations based on the insights that you've gathered, gathered from a data set. So really deep learning may not solve everything when it comes to data science. So in terms of mistakes you ought to avoid when, it's, when starting to learn data science and working on projects is that deep learning is not um, a key answer or an answer to all the projects that you're going to be working on. The second problem is starting to work on a data science project um, without really defining the question. So you might be tempted to go into the analysis bit, um, whether it's using um, Python or R or even just basic um, spreadsheet software. And when you haven't really um, defined the question, you would eventually actually end up um, just doing analysis that may not be suitable for what that you'd be required to answer. Um, this is because when you start working on an analysis, you might maybe possibly um, do something like data cleaning and you might eliminate data that would be crucial um, for the research question that you would have defined um, or understood first before, before undertaking that particular data analysis task. Um, so essentially, you ought to understand how to work with um, what first of all, you ought to ensure that you have um, defined the question that you're going to be answering before undertaking um, a particular project. Mistake number three is that um, um, undertaking is one of undertaking poor data cleaning methodology. And this might involve you um, not um, taking some key considerations when it comes to cleaning data. Maybe duplicates you might have forgotten to um, 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 clean up the duplicates that you have in your data set and in the end these um, sorts of um, that might have an impact on the final deliverable you might have a final deliverable that gives some quantitative data um, data that really talks about uh, maybe that there were um, a thousand respondents while you might even realize that in the um, data that you're looking at, there were only 800 respondents, respondents and 200 of them were actually duplicates and um, really you may not necessarily have, or you may not actually have um, um, value in terms of um, getting answers to the, sol to the questions that you're solving for if you have um, um, dirty data still. So you need to also have a possible checklist on on what you need to consider when you're cleaning data and also before even undertaking 
um, the cleaning process, looking at the checklist that you have. It could be um, cleaning, you know, duplicates, missing values, etc. And before even doing that, you would need to also understand the research question and the implication of all those steps to the question that you have at hand. All right, so that is um, 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 data science mistake number three. The data science mistake number four would be not considering that you have you could have insufficient data. So um, you might be undertaking a data science project and you might be thinking that the data set that you have would actually be um, representative of possibly the entire population that you're studying while yes it could be a sample but it may not be a representative sample um, that would be scientific so um, some key considerations is to also see whether uh, is the data does the data um, um, that you have sufficiently um, uh, is, it, is it going to be sufficient for the um, 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 the purpose that it's meant to to serve. So just looking at that and even thinking about what other supplementing data might help when it comes to working on um, the project that you have. So that's the fourth um, um, common mistake, not considering other useful data sets that might um, be external data sets. The key consideration number five would be um, possibly not focusing on um, exploratory data analysis which is usually a step of being able to study the trends and the patterns of that are within a data set through the use of visualizations and the caveat with this if you do not um, um, stress so much on exploratory data analysis what you would end up doing is that you would end up um, not being able to spot anomalies through you know um, in your data set which are usually captured by um, visualization tools such as um, 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 scatter plots or um, it could be uh, something like um, just 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 thinking out 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 loud or whisker plot um, in that case um, and and even missing data would be normally captured by these exploratory data analysis techniques. So being able to um, um, consider exploratory data analysis, tech, um, those um, consider those those techniques, would actually um, also impact on the outcome, even the recommendations that you give in the very end. So that is something you also need to consider. Um, the other problem is. Um, not considering the basics of whatever tool that you're learning. Um, it, if, if I were to give an example, if you were to work with say something like Python and you are working on a data modeling project and it gets to a point where you need to improve your model, you might um, be required to perform something like feature engineering, like going back to the data set, the initial data set that you had and creating new values. And if you haven't really grasped something like pandas, the fundamentals of pandas, or even just basically the fundamentals of Python itself, um, enough to help you to create a solution that is um, custom to the problem or even the um, context that you're working with, then you'll fall short. And um, not having solid knowledge therefore becomes um, um, an obstacle to what you're trying to achieve. Uh, but in most cases, when um, when you're working on such projects, if you're not really, 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 really sure, you could always consider also um, um, Googling, though it may not be the best, best, best solution to what you have, um, but um, not knowing the basics um, would, would be one of those mistakes that you would make, and it would still come back to you later when you're trying to create custom code to perform a specific task that is um, for that particular project that you have. So how do you avoid all these mistakes, you might ask. The first thing, you know, it's continuous learning. Just sign up for online classes that, um, that pertain to the exploratory data analysis or pertain to um, basically fundamentals of whatever tool that you're working with. Um, and not necessarily even fundamentals, but even other advanced techniques that would even help you to make um, your workflow a bit more efficient. So being able to undertake that continuous learning journey. The second um, way that you might um, undertake when it comes to still the same 
um, uh, um, when it comes to ensuring that you avoid those common mistakes would be possibly to sign up for a newsletter, a DS newsletter, a data science newsletter um, um, from various websites that usually um, just post about what technologies, what tools, what methodologies have um, are now coming out and are emerging and might be um, able to help you as a data scientist um, work more efficiently. So the second um, 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 uh, um, uh, the second thing that you could do is to basically sign up for a newsletter. The third thing is to ensure that whenever you're working on any project, you understand the business needs. You try to really um, um, sort, you seek to become a data science domain expert within the, the industry that you're working with. That way, um, in terms of projects, you are aware of what exactly is required as a final um, output and what kind of value with the, will the project that you're going to be working on bring to the organization. So yeah, so those are the basically um, um, common mistakes that as data scientists you might make and um, try to also um, avoid them by, by going through some of those mentioned um, strategies of, of, of equipping yourself with um, new knowledge and being able to um, become, an, become an expert in the domain um, that you seek to work as a data scientist in. So that's it for this video. Um, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you would um, also, um, um, if you'd also want other persons who would be interested in the same topic to also get more um, from this video um, in terms of knowledge, to also get informed whenever um, um, we also post such videos. Be sure to give it um, a thumbs up and also to also subscribe and see you in the next video when we talk about a different topic um, that will equip you to become the better data scientist that you are to become. All right. See you next time.